kill him. Oh, for gosh sakes, my cell phone. Cell phone. Let me get out of here. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on here? What? I can't see a thing. What? Am I stuck in the TV? Is this me? Is this me for a moment? What's going on? I can't. Is this? Ah, it's me. I'm in. I'm in the TV. in the TV. Oh, I get up. And then guy. And then somebody pushed over and somebody and somebody like hit me. Come on. They'll hit me from the back. Send me flying. Send me flying. Come on, let's go. Are you we been, gonna move? Been here all day? Are we seven hours? Move move to the new, are we moving to the new room? Let's go, let's go. Let's go check that out. Boo! I'm Joey. And I'm Gabby. If you can see me through this mask. I want to see that opening montage roll now. So dive right in. Hollywood Hills and suburban thrills. Hey, you, who are you kidding? I'm not like them. I won't buy in. Hollywood Hills and suburban thrills. Hey, you, who are you kidding? Don't quit till 47. Then we'll turn it up and we'll play a little faster. Take back. There's no school next Tuesday. Really? Why? Because it's presidential uh, er, 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 election day. Oh, that's why I voted for President Pino Daddy 5000. Oh boy, whatever. Let's just check out that footage. Hi, I'm Manny, and we're here to ask Spartans on what they think about the upcoming presidential election. If you could vote for Obama or Romney, who would you vote for? I think I would vote for Mitt Romney because he can probably bring us out of the deficit and something that Obama hasn't done in the four years that he's been president. So maybe we should give a new person a new chance. So who do you think is going to be a better president, Obama or Romney? I think Obama. Why? Because when he first started, he said he was going to do a lot of things, but he couldn't, he couldn't get through them because he had to fix the things that happened before he came elected. So I think this year that he know he, he know what to do, so um he'll probably get it right. That's what's up. Who would you vote for, Romney or Obama? Um I would vote for Obama. Why? Because Romney, the Republican side, they don't believe in like stuff like women's choice or like abortion or gay marriage and stuff like that. And I just think that those are free choices and that Obama's pro choice, so I think personally it's better. And I don't think that the Republican side thinks like the rich should stay rich. And honestly, I'm not in the rich side, so I don't believe that. If you could vote for Romney or Obama, who would you vote for? Maybe Romney. And why? Because I think he's more of a businessman. He has more experience. I think Obama is just spending way too much. Uh, I don't like much of his policies. I think Mitt Romney is just a better candidate overall. Who would you vote for, Obama or Romney? Um, Obama. And why is that? He won last year. 
okay, and you have no other reason why you would vote for him? Um, I mean, nobody likes Mitt Romney, so <laughs> obviously that's why. I mean, he's pretty cool. I mean, I like Romney. He's, you know, he's all right, dude. I mean, it's like he's trying to take away all of our benefits and stuff, and Obama is just trying to help our world or our state or whatever. <laughs> our, like, <laughs> our state. I mean, our country, our country, our country. So, yeah. That works. All right. The pep rally. Now let's talk about that one. Oh, yeah. When the juniors in the second one cheated. They didn't. Whatever. Let's look at the evidence. <laughs> What happened over there? You guys didn't say anything that first time. I was like giving it all. I was giving my whole energy out and nobody was doing it. And I'm like losing my voice because of them. Yeah, like we were trying to get all of them to say something, but no one wanted to say anything. They were just standing there doing nothing. But we're going to try again and we're going to try to beat. We have junior procedures and strategies that we're going to do to make everybody like flip out and be super sick. We're here with two cheerleaders from the cheerleading team. Let's see how they thought their routine went. So how'd you guys' routine go for the pep rally? It went amazing, I think so. I think it went really good. What do you guys, uh, I think you guys did great. It's, it's going to be cool to see you guys beat that in the second one. Second one? But I think you guys can do it. You guys are doing great. We're going to do everything. We're going to hit everything good. Okay. We are, because we the bomb. And we seniors. Yeah. Class of 2013. They know what's up. 2013. What do you guys think about the pep rally? Hey, so far, the pep rally is Fantastic. The seniors and juniors are really into it. Even the freshmen in military school got into it and the sophomores. I'm, I'm really amazed. I love to see all the school spirit. Everyone is dressed and everyone's representing their class so well. It's amazing. I love it. We're sporting our colors. Go Spartans. Go Spartans. What else can you tell us? What do you think? How do you think the second one's going to be? I have a feeling the second one's going to be even better and we're looking forward to it. What the? <laughs> about homecoming everyone has Spartan spirit so just keep it up keep it up all year long hey Senior! what the Woo! remember kids don't do drugs we'll see you tonight at the football game too well actually what do you think say Chelsea yeah go seniors Woo! seniors you know why because these aren't spirit fingers these are spirit fingers what color was this year well, I think we're doing a great job. I love the spirit and seeing so many students dressed in white, black, blue, and orange. This is great. Who do you think's going to win? I mean, obviously it's the seniors, but what is your opinion? Well, uh, the juniors won last year, which means that was the year for you, the seniors, were the uh, juniors. So I would say the seniors probably this year. How about that? 2013. And what are your expectations for this year? My expectations is that we have fun, that we enjoy, but at the same time, let's be responsible and let's remain focused academically so that we have a very successful year. And one last question. How do you think the next pep rally is going to go? And why do you think they're important? They are important because they bring school spirit, which is important, but at the same time, again, the same, make sure that we do it responsibly and that we enjoy this so that we can have many more.
13 pep rally with everyone just enjoying it. The juniors won the second pep rally, and it's just all fun, like, everywhere, man. Everyone's screaming. Wow. That pep rally really got me excited for the homecoming game. 30 to 27. We were so close. Very close, and our Spartans worked really hard to get that win. I agree. Now let's check that out. Hey Spartans, it's Blanca here at Hollywood Hills homecoming game. Let's go! Yes, let's go. We're here at the homecoming game with Joey and I'm George. And uh, oh, look at that throw. No, that was not a throw. That was a huge tackle, but that was a throw. Oh, look at that guy. He, sh he should have shaken his salad more often. Man, if only he did, then he would be running like that guy right now. Oh, but look at this guy. He's in a circle. He wants to be important. If he's in the circle, that means he's immune to all damage. He just ran through all of them. Look at that run. Look at that run. Man, they run a lot in this game. And touchdown. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. He almost hit the referee. Oh, he's still running. He's still running. Interview time, though. So, yeah. Aww. How do you feel about the game so far? We're close to winning. Close. Just a, li a, little, a little bit more. But we're close. Uh, I think we're doing really good. Griffin, number 10, is scoring all the touchdowns. Good job, Griffin. Hey, Griffin. I think they're doing good. Shout out to my best friend, Amari Hastings, and my dog, Isaiah Pierre. <laughs> what do you guys have to say about the game? Well, are we too live out here. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Yeah, smart is! Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, we're coming back now, so it's a little exciting. Oh, Joey and George here back for the halftime show. Let's do this. Hey, look at all that band marching all over the field. About to break something. Man, don't you just love the band? They're, they're probably the best band and all. No, they are the best band. They're so good, someone fainted. <laughs> Maybe they'll get revived. I hope so. Our because band's that good. Our band's that good. Oh, and she got back up. They healed her. They made her fall. And she came back. And the homecoming court now. All right. First is Brian and Dahlia. All right. And the next coming up is, oh, Chelsea and Adam. And then next up is Carol and Austin. And Stephanie and Jonathan. Beth, Beth and Joseph. And what else? Oh, Evelyn and Sean. That's our homecoming court this year. And that's our homecoming game, Spartans. We won 30 to 27 with our football players playing at the tippity toppity top of this shape. And we won. We won. Go Spartans. Greatest homecoming ever. Ever. Hey, this looks like a good one. Roll it. Why don't, let's check it out. Hey Spartans, we're here at the 2012 homecoming dance where the Spartans are ready to start getting down and low. Let's go see how much fun they're actually having. So how do you feel today to be on the 2012 homecoming court valid? Oh my gosh, I, I'm so astonished, I'm excited and really fun night even though I just came here and I see it's live and I'm enjoying it. Uh, and what are you going to do if you win? I'm going to twerk, I'm going to twerk if I win, I'm going to twerk. Alright, so you heard it fine, so you better see him twerk. It feels so awesome, it's so much fun, it's a great experience to be with all my friends. And if you win, what, what are you going to do? Go take a picture with you. Oh, you're so cute. I hope you win. Feels great. Very excited. I love being here. And the inside there is really awesome. You're kind of sweaty there. Have you been dancing a little? I've been twerking. I've been twerking my little donk off. Oh. Yeah, dude. It's, it's I think awesome. I, I think I caught you twerking out there. I, it, you probably did. It's more than once, definitely. And um, if you win, what, what are you going to do? What exactly are you going to do? Uh, well, I got to thank everybody else that's, you know, even voted me on here. And it's very, I'm honored to be on the court. And uh, I think I'm going to go extra hard at some parties tonight. 
For sure. Have fun, man. Safe parties. Safe, Safe parties. parties. Don't drink and drive. I'm so excited. It's such an honor. I can't believe I made it. And then if you win, what, are you, what exactly are you going to do? Go crazy. Go crazy. Go, Go crazy. all out. Go all out. It feels absolutely amazing. Amazing. And if you win, what, it, what exactly are you going to do? I think I'm going to throw an after party. After party? Yeah. I hope you win. Thank you. So how are you doing tonight? How is this homecoming? Oh, man, it's great. I got to look good for you, Pino. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. Do you like the food so far? Oh, the food is great. The empanadas going down. What about that DJ? Oh, that DJ is on point. <laughs> on point. Let's go check that out. Ashley, assistant principal of Hollywood Hills High School, like to present the 2012 homecoming court. Austin Hill! Now put your hands up, now put your hands up, now put your hands up, now put your hands up. Congratulations, Austin and Evelyn. Just remember, all of you guys are winners. Well, Spartans, you saw it. That was the 2012 homecoming dance. Hope you guys all had fun. I know I did. Man, I could use a sandwich right now. Oh, well, speaking of sandwiches, the NHS club had a peanut butter and jelly drive. Why was I not there? Um, because it's for the homeless. Oh, well, whatever. Let's check that out. Hello Spartans, Joe here at the NHS Peanut Butter and Jelly Drive. Uh, let's go watch some peanut butter and jelly making action. Alright, here we are at the NHS Peanut Butter and Jelly Drive. Watch them spread that butter and jelly mm -hmm. between these tasty buns and all these kind caring people helping out the homeless by doing something as simple as making a delicious sandwich. Mm. Yeah, don't you wish you could eat that sandwich? Look at it. Let's go ask Dr. Pion about this event. Dr. Pion, um, could you explain the purpose behind this event to me? Sure. Uh, we are here making sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, that are going to be delivered to the Broward Outreach Center. This is a center for the homeless right here in, in town, in Hollywood. It's only about two miles away from our school. Uh, and the center receives uh, people that are homeless from all over town. And sometimes the only meal they have is a peanut butter jelly sandwich to go on. We have here, right now, we're expecting to make over 300 sandwiches today. 300 sandwiches. How do you feel about helping out? Feed the homeless. I feel that it's a really good cause and uh, I'm happy to be a part of it, so. I feel great. It feels actually really good to help out my community any way I can just by doing simple things like making sandwiches. And it's fun. It feels really good that you're doing something good for the community, like giving homeless people food that they don't have. It's just, it, feel, it makes me feel like really happy that I'm actually doing something good. 
Thank you, NHS, for helping feed the homeless. Mm, sandwiches. Hey, where, where did Gabby go? She's chasing a homeless guy for a sandwich. Oh. All right, Spartans. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.